24 of 25, two feet down, Brett Helms. 60% chance on a headliner. A lot of big names left. We'll see if this is a headliner. It's going to be great either way. Yeah. You pull a headliner, everyone's excited. We don't pull a headliner, it's a 75% chance. The next box. We do have a headliner in Robert Clark. It's one of the two that you wanted. It is Jamar Chase. Ooh. Uh, beautiful autograph, Jay Chase. Uh, such a fantastic hit. Uh, led the league in a lot of categories in college, and then obviously in the pros. His first season, top five in the league in receiving yards and receiving touchdowns for Jamar Chase. Mm -hmm. uh, banged up year two, uh, but when he's healthy, he'll be top five again in both categories. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about this the other day. Uh, Cooper Cup's a little bit older. Devontae Adams a little bit older. Tyree Kill even saying he might uh, call it quits after the next two years on his contract. Mm -hmm. uh, so the discussion for best receiver in the league is very hard. There's so many really good guys. But if we're talking about what two receivers do I most want for the next 10 years, given age and everything, mm -hmm. this is one of the top two for me. I think yep. Justin Jefferson may be slightly ahead, and Jamar Chase right there as far as guys I would most want the draft like the redraft top receivers on my team. What do you think? Yeah, I'd say it's those two. I think it, then it's also a guy that's not even in the pros yet. It's Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah, the Ohio State guy. Yep. Those are like senior. those are the three for the next and 10 Mar years. Marvin Harrison Sr. was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so great hit, Robert. Nice hit, says Nicholas. Nice, says Robert. Uh, what I do love about Jamar Chase, he's also one of the best autographs of the current players. Yeah, like, clean. Uh, you can see it. It says J. Chase. You know it's him. He's got the number one on there. Uh, such a beautiful helmet, Robert Clark. 